Up to this point, I've been steadily losing weight, and I've been doing a good job at it. But this week, things accelerated. Welcome to my roller coaster. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 4 of Breaking the Puzzle Season 2, where I'm challenging myself to lose 100 pounds in 52 weeks. So let's get right into it. First off, I want to talk about my psoriasis. It has gotten quite a bit better. Uh, basically every week that I'm able to take an injection, it does get better. Saying that, we have a slight problem. On Monday, I started to have flu-like symptoms, uh, extreme muscle fatigue. Um, I didn't realize it was a flu on Monday, but basically uh, I got extreme muscle fatigue and I figured, you know what, I screwed something up. Tuesday it got worse and then Wednesday it started with a fever that even, like nothing would get rid of the fever. So I went and uh, the doctors think it is a mild case of influenza. Now I did get the flu shot. Uh, so that's definitely helping me. It's Sunday now. I've been on antibiotics since Wednesday and I am doing a lot better. Um, having a little bit of phlegm and so on, but uh, for the most part I'm doing a lot better. Like I can actually lift my arms. Uh, as of Wednesday I could barely move because everything was just so tired and fatigued. So um, yeah, so not the best thing being on antibiotics. Uh, in case you're new to the channel, when I go on antibiotics, I have to stop my biologic uh, and that gives psoriasis time to recuperate. And it also has the off chance that the biologic won't start working again as effectively. Uh, we've just finished taking three injections in a row without me being sick. And we kind of had this arrangement with my dermatologist and my rheumatologist where if I got sick again, we might have to change biologics on the simple fact that the injection I'm currently on, TALTS, could be lowering something in my immune system that it's needed. Uh, whereas if I change to a different biologic, there is a very good chance that it won't affect the immune system in the same way. So I see them later this month. We'll discuss this. We'll also see whether after I'm off this antibiotic, whether I can restart the injections without getting sick immediately again. Um, I will say I'm feeling stronger than I was before when I used to get sick. Uh, the antibiotics really kicked it quickly, which is good, um, but we'll see. Um, so actually, I don't think it's an antibiotic. I think it's an antiviral. Uh, antibiotics are more for bacterial infections. Uh, antiviral is more for uh, actual viruses. So I believe it's not actually an antibiotic. Everybody kind of intertwines antibiotic and antiviral uh, because it's just like a general classification, but I'm pretty sure it's an antiviral that I'm on. Uh, but anyway, um, so that's gonna suck for the psoriasis side if I have to change medications or if I can't seem to restart a biologic because I'm getting sick. So we'll have to keep an eye for that. Um, but no more fever since I started the antibiotic. Um, so that's good. Um, uh, anyway, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, well, it's not a good thing, but it's good that I've, I've kind of got it under control, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so I was sick on, uh, actually the day I edited the video for last week, you may have noticed that I did a little bit less, uh, graphics and sound effects and things like that. Uh, I felt horrible. I, uh, yeah, I, I almost didn't release a video, but I'm really trying to do them weekly. So I decided to just suck it up and do it. So I did. And uh, special thanks to my wife for doing all the social media posts because I couldn't be bothered to do that. Um, so any of the social media posting of the video itself, that was all her. So I'm glad she stepped up and did that. That helped out a lot. Um, so as for the weight loss, um, in the past when I got sick, I usually fall off the rails 
because I'm the one who does the cooking and typically if I'm not doing the cooking, we resort to junk food and convenience food and that sort of stuff. Um, I'll be happy to report that we didn't do that. Uh, we've been holding pretty well on our, our schedule for eating. Uh, we had one day with convenience food, but even then it was like a healthy convenience food, so it wasn't a bad thing. Um, I have been over on my calories by a little bit on one or, actually it was two days. Uh, I was 70 over on one and I was 100 over on another, uh, but all the other days I was under by about 200. So still doing very well. Um, now exercise, uh, you know what, I'll show you the photo. Let's show it right here. And you know what? You can see it just as well as me. There's very, very little activity in there. And that's because I was pretty much on a couch up until today. I, uh, today's the first day I've really felt like doing anything. That's why I didn't record Saturday. I decided to record today because I'm feeling a lot better. Yesterday, I was starting to feel better, but I did some computer stuff uh, just to kind of ease my way back into doing things. So starting this week, we'll be getting back into doing the walking and whatnot. Anyway, so I'm getting better, so that's good. So let's talk about weight loss. So you might have noticed the title of this video. Uh, the roller coaster is due to this. And you'll see this really cool squiggly line. And I was going to try and draw it on screen, like here, like this. Uh, it, I couldn't remember exactly how it looks, so there's no way I could have done that. But yeah, you can see this orange line. That is my weight adjustment over the last week. So let's start off. So we've got Sunday the 31st. I started off at 309.6. Now, I didn't weigh on the 31st, but that's the last weight I did on the Saturday. And you remember that from last week's video. Uh, Monday the 1st, I actually weighed 307.8. So that's a loss of 1.8 pounds in two days, which is a little bit drastic. It's almost the two pounds in two days. Now, granted, that's when I started to feel a little bit ill. I think I was dehydrated, so I lost a bunch of water weight. So I started drinking a lot more. So Wednesday rolls by, and that's the day I started my uh, antibiotics, but not until later Wednesday. So this is Wednesday morning, so it's Wednesday the 3rd. 305.4 pounds. Now, that's a drop of 2.4 pounds since Monday. Now, I increased my drinking as of Monday. I forced myself to drink a lot more because I was feeling a bit dehydrated. I still, I went down another 2.4 pounds. That's like drastic. That's not a low amount of, of loss. That's quite a, a chunky amount of loss. So, we're, we're like we're talking like 4.2 4 pounds in from the Sunday to a Wednesday. A little bit ridiculous. So I decided at that point to weigh every single day just to take a look at this because every time I've been on antibiotics or whatnot, I always find weight loss is difficult. Um, or if I change medication, I find at first I have a little bit more water retention. So I figured this time, let's document this. Let's see what's going on. So Thursday, so that means I've been on uh, the antibiotics for one day, I weighed 306.6, which means I went up 1.2 pounds literally overnight. Um, my calories, just so you know, for Wednesday, I was under by 200 calories. So that means I was 1,200 calories less than I needed to maintain my weight. Uh, to lose a pound, you need to lose around 3,000 calories. Um, so at the most, I should have lost a third of a pound. And like instead, I went up 1.2 pounds. So a little bit weird there. Let's move on to Friday. So I decided let's weigh again. I figured I'd be around the 306. I figured, hey, you know what? I went down quite a bit. Maybe I'm fluctuating back up. Let's just see, 304.4. So I went down an additional 2.2 pounds, literally overnight. Like, I have no words. You can hear I have no words. I don't know. Uh, Saturday, 
304.8, that's looking better. 0 0.4, that's two days where I've got a 304. So if I did my video yesterday, that would have been the weight I would have given you. Guess what? We're not done. The graph is, but today's weight, because this is the Sunday, I'm 306.2. It means overnight I went up 1.4 pounds. All in all, over the entire of the last week, I fluctuated 9.4 pounds, varied multiple directions. Yeah. I, I don't have words. Uh, the nice thing is if we take the starting weight and this ending weight, even though it's irritating that I've gone up from 304, because 304 is a really nice number. I like 304. I'll be at 304 one day. I just thought I was at 304 now. And so 309.6 was our starting weight. I'm now 306.2. That gives me 3.4 pounds of loss from the beginning of the week to now. Uh, so I'm still very happy. I'm supposed to lose two pounds a week. I'm way ahead of schedule. Week four, I should be down at most, uh, well, it would be eight pounds. Um, cause, well, actually no, cause week one, that was my starting at 315. So I should have been down to 313 week two. Week three, I should be down to 311. Week four, 309. That's where I should be. Um, and I'm not, I'm 306.2. So I'm actually like 3.2 pounds ahead of schedule, which I'm very, very happy with. I'm not arguing with it. Um, that means I've lost a grand total of 8.8 .8 pounds. And that means I have 91.2 pounds left. So I'm happy. It's just, I don't trust the number. So my issue with this is I've dropped more pounds than I needed due to water weight, illness, I, like I don't know. I don't know what causes such a fluctuation. All I know is every single day it was like going to the casino on my scale. I had no idea what the number was going to land on. Um, not the best situation when you're actually trying to lose weight because I have no idea what that number really means. Is it water? Am I just a walking water jug? Is that what I am right now? I have no idea. So I would, I really wish the 304 was the number I could have given. I, there's no way I can give that number as my accurate weight. The 306 seems more accurate to me. Um, and it's the weight I am today, the day I'm recording. So I'm gonna, that's, I'm locking, locking in my answer. My final answer is 306.2. Um, now, what does that mean for next week's video? If this is an artificially done number due to me being sick and I'm actually higher, but I lost a bunch of water or something like that, then next week's number could not have as much change. That is a possibility. Um, I like, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss. It is disheartening when you don't really know. Um, it's also really like, it's like, a, a, a kick in the pants when you have a 304 and then you go up 1.4 pounds the next day. Um, but granted, you get this insane nice excitement when you drop 2.4 pounds in 24 hours. So, yeah, quite the roller coaster. On that note, I think I'm going to end our video today. So, this following this week coming up, we're going to be working on doing extra walking or any walking at all because this whole week I've not done anything because I've just felt horrible. Um, and any times I did go walking or whatnot to like walk around the apartment or do something in the apartment, I couldn't be bothered to grab my phone. So I didn't track anything pretty much. Uh, extra weight on me when you're already feeling like you're like 2,000 pounds because everything is just so heavy and tired there's no way I'm adding like an extra pound from my cell phone. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you guys have ever had one of these sort of roller coaster weeks, feel free to leave a, a little bit of a story in the, the comment section, or you can reach us on our Facebook page or on social media. Uh, all that is at, down in the description box below. And uh, you guys take care. See you next week. Bye.